I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Stardew Valley Ultimate Chef Episode 8, wherein we get our pickaxe back finally, and I don't upgrade it yet. Uh, gonna wait until after the first melon harvest, probably, in summer to upgrade it all the way. But with this new pickaxe, we are able to somewhat progress a little bit better in the mines. Uh, it takes two hits per rock instead of three, so, you know, that's at least slightly better. And... Uh, I don't remember how far down I get. I think I get to like 60. And that's when the uh, the ice castle starts. Because I know I reached the ice castle. But, you know, got a little bit further in the mines. And that's pretty cool. Uh, not a whole lot else goes on this episode, as always. Just sort of waiting for spring to end. And then more exciting things can happen at the beginning of summer. Although I did finally manage to trigger the, uh, the Dimitri event where he, uh, or Demetrius, whatever his name is, uh, where he comes and asks you if you want a mushroom cave or a fruit cave. I don't know why it took so long. Uh, it might be based on, like, how much money you're holding or how much you've earned, so I didn't earn enough for, like, most of it up until now. And then I finally had enough, so he showed up, and now I have that. Ugh, the yawns. I'm so tired. Uh, I chose the fruit cave because we don't really need mushrooms for anything. We only need the, uh, the single morel mushroom. And I already got one of those, so I figured why not go for the fruit cave? Maybe we can get an apple and an apricot from that and not have to do the, uh, the trees all together. And that would be good because, you know, they, they're pretty expensive and they take a long time to grow. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't know what fruit can show up in there, but I guess we'll find out. Normally I take the mushroom things regardless because, uh, the purple mushrooms are just so good for energy. But this time I decided to do it different, and we'll see how it plays out. Um, not a whole lot else going on, really. Although, I have been playing Slay the Spire recently, which is pretty good. It's a deck-building roguelite game. Essentially, you, uh... Like, you have to build up a deck, you start with some basic cards, uh, and then you go through the dungeon, and as you beat monsters using your cards by playing certain, like, amounts per turn, each card costs an amount of energy. You have a set amount of energy per turn, you start out with three. Uh, as you beat monsters and encounters and go through events that question mark things and visit shops and stuff, you can buy more cards, and the cards will make your deck stronger or weaker, depending on how, you know, how good they are. Uh, you can also pick up, like, relics, which are just items that improve your stats or deck in various ways. And it's really fun. Uh, I'm probably not describing it very well, but... If you guys have ever heard of deck building games in general, it's basically that plus, like, a roguelite layer in the relics and the map system and everything. So it's pretty fun. Uh, I finally got my first win, actually. And pretty relatively proud of that. I played for like 20 hours, which is just way too much time to go without getting a win. But I did finally manage it. And it was crazy because the run that I finally got a win on was just, you know, crazy strong. I was one-shotting every fight. Finally got to the boss, and I just beat the boss as well. Just one-shot each of the dudes. So that was pretty fun. Uh, I also got a key recently for a game called Claybook, which is, um, I don't know, it seems like not many people have heard of it, but it's the game where you control, like, a blob of Play-Doh and you can roll around on the table, upon which everything is constructed of Play-Doh as well, so you can, like, realistically deform the terrain as you're rolling around. I don't think that it sticks to your ball, or whatever shape you happen to be controlling, which is unfortunate because that would be really cool. But I believe your shape can get deformed so that you end up with, like, a weird shaped lump that isn't as good as rolling. As good at rolling as, like, a sphere would be. But I'm pretty excited to check that out. I don't know if I'll do a video on it. I might stream it. We'll see. But I am excited to play it. It does look like it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I've heard that it's pretty short. So, I don't know if I'd recommend it at the current price, whatever it is. It's like 20 bucks or 10 bucks, something like that. 
Probably wait until it has more content. It is still in early access, of course, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's in early access. I don't know, I should probably check these things before talking about them, but I'm not like... You know, this isn't a review for it or anything. Just, uh, I've heard that it has a small amount of content right now. And I remember looking at the price and saying, or thinking to myself, small amount of content for that price, probably not worth it. So, you know, make your own informed decision, I suppose. Uh, it looks like it should be fun, though. Like I said, I'm looking forward to it. I was actually considering buying it uh, a few months ago, but ended up just not buying it. And it's a good thing that I didn't, because I ended up getting this key, so that would have been unfortunate. So, uh, you know, gonna do that. Uh, no other games lately, although I did get the Humble Monthly games, the uh, rest of the unlocks for the uh, January bundle, just a little bit ago, or February, whatever, whatever one it is, I don't know, it's always a weird system. So, kind of looking forward to playing those. Um, at the very least, Snake Pass looks good. That's a game I had my eye on before. It actually looks kind of fun. So I'll be checking that one out. The other ones aren't names that I recognize right away, except for Tacoma, which is a game that I have seen before. Uh, I don't know what it's about, don't know anything about it, I haven't seen any gameplay, haven't like read anything about it, watched any trailers or anything. All I have seen is the image that says Tacoma with the dude's face on it and like the triangle or whatever. That's literally all I know about that. So I'll probably check that one out as well. The other ones are a complete mystery to me. And that's it for now. Um, coming up on the end of the video, as always, you know, happens frequently. But uh, hopefully you guys all enjoyed watching this. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, really helps out a whole bunch. And if you are looking for an easy way to support my channel, check out my Humble Partner link in the description below next time you want to buy yourself any kind of video game. Helps me out, helps out an awesome charity, which is Child's Play, and it's just all together really cool things. So, you know, I'll see you guys all next time.